and welcome to 6.4 wave calculations. First, let's talk about wave frequency. We know that frequency is a measure of how often something happens over a certain amount of time. We can measure how many times a pulse passes a fixed point over a given amount of time, and this will give us the frequency. Suppose I wiggle a slinky back and forth and count that six waves pass a point in two seconds. What would the frequency be? Well, three cycles per second, which is also three hertz. We use the term hertz, abbreviated HC, to stand for cycles per second. So that will be the unit of frequency is hertz. So let's look at the wave period. The period is the time it takes for one cycle to complete. It also is the reciprocal of the frequency. So T equals one over F, where T is the period and F is the frequency. Since T is a measure of time, period is measured in seconds. So suppose I wiggle a slinky back and forth and count that six waves pass a point in two seconds. What would the period be? Since the frequency is three hertz, the period would be one third of a second. Okay, since they're reciprocals. So let's look at wave speed. We can use what we know to determine how fast a wave is moving. So remember back in the beginning, what is the formula for velocity? Velocity is distance divided by time. So what distance do we know about a wave? Wavelength, correct. And what time do we know? Period, correct. So if we plug these in, we get velocity is the length of the pulse, or the wavelength, divided by the time for the pulse to move past a fixed point, the period. Velocity is wavelength divided by period. And we'll use the symbol lambda, it's kind of an upside down Y, to represent wavelength. So if velocity is equal to wavelength divided by period, what is the T equal? Well, T is equal to one divided by the frequency. So if we plug that in, we can rewrite the equation to be V is equal to F lambda, or velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. This is known as the wave equation. Velocity is equal to frequency times wavelength. So on your formula sheet, V is equal to lambda F or F lambda. Lambda is equal to V divided by F and F is equal to V divided by lambda. You also might wanna add that T is equal to one over F. V is the velocity in meters per second Lambda is the wavelength in meters, and F is the frequency in hertz. So let's do several practice problems together. A wave traveling in water has a frequency of 500 hertz and a wavelength of three meters. What is the speed of the wave? Since we know the equation V is equal to lambda F, three times 500 would be 1,500 meters per second. Two, the lowest pitch sound humans can hear has a frequency of 20 hertz. What is the wavelength of these sounds if their wave speed is 340 meters per second? Which, by the way, is the actual speed of sound in air. So, Lambda is equal to free, or velocity divided by frequency. So 340 divided by 20 is 17 meters. Those waves have a wavelength of 17 meters. Number three, 
The highest pitch sound humans can hear has a wavelength of 0 0.017 meters in the air. What is the frequency of these sound waves if their wave speed is 340 meters per second? Frequency is velocity divided by wavelength. So 340 divided by 0 0.017 is 20,000 hertz. Problem five. Calculate the frequency of a water wave that has a wavelength of 0.5 meters and a speed of four meters per second. Frequency is velocity divided by wavelength. Four divided by 0.5 is eight hertz. And last problem, an FM radio station broadcasts a radio wave with a frequency of 1 million hertz. What is the wavelength of these radio waves if they travel at a speed of 300,000 kilometers per second? Well, wavelength is velocity divided by frequency. So 300 million meters per second divided by 1 million hertz is 3 meters. They have a wavelength of 3 meters. All right, you'll do more problems in class. Thanks for watching.